It's Friday, so you all know what that means. The Humane Society of Elkhart County is here. Joining us this morning is Carl and a furry friend. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Ryan. Thanks for having us on. No, thank you for joining us, Carl. So who did you bring here today? This is Blue. <laughs> He's a five and a half year old Siberian Husky mix. Okay. He's um, about 65 pounds. Mm -hmm. Wonderful dog, loves his squeaky toy. Great walker, calm disposition and personality. Been with the uh, shelter now for about two months. So one of the longer term residents, mm -hmm. uh, you'd be very, very lucky to, to adopt Blue here. And I love Blue. Why the name Blue, Carl? Well, if you get a look at his <laughs> eyes there, he's crystal blue. In crystal his eyes. blue. Yes. Hi, Blue. Blue was giving me handshakes before the cameras were rolling. Can I get another one? Blue said, yeah, yeah no, chill no. now. Yeah, he said, I'm chilling now. No, <laughs> no handshakes right now. So what kind of home would be the best for Blue? Well, I think uh, someone that wants a dog that's gonna walk at their pace, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really about not necessarily the home, but just the person and the family yeah. and what they're looking for there. Yeah. He's it, not one that's gonna be dragging you along, He's a very good walker, um, and, and definitely super, super friendly. And if you don't mind, again, a little bit of a squeaky toy sound. The squeaky toy. Exactly, loves the squeaky toy. <laughs> so what three words would you use to describe Blue? Um, I would say calm. Calm. Uh, very happy Aww. and curious. Is he curious? Yes, really? Yes. What makes him so curious, you would say? Well, I guess even just when we got here, right? He was uh -huh. looking, checking out, hey, what's behind this door? What's behind <laughs> that door, right? Yes. So how long have you been volunteering with the Elkhart? A Maybe little like, over a year now. Yeah, and what would you say is the best part of being a part of that? Oh, it's, it's, there's so many good parts about it. One of them is just that you're part of an important mission mm -hmm. to help find loving permanent homes for these great animals. Um, the staff is great, the facility is great, the leadership team is great, they work well with the, the volunteers, the adopters, and of course, the animals. Yeah, the animals. Meet and greet rooms that you can visit with as many different animals that you'd like to make sure you find the one that is the best fit for you, your lifestyle, your family. And uh, then there's a minor adoption fee, whether it be a cat or a dog, and then uh, you're, you're off to the races. Right, right off to the races. So why would you say it's best for someone to adopt from the Humane Society instead of, you know, going out and purchasing a dog first? Oh, and that's, that's a great question. I, I'd say that it, it, these, these animals already need a home, mm -hmm. right? Um, many have had already maybe been a home somewhere else, and they're, they're uh, as well as also, they're fully, sh they are always uh, have their shots, yeah. and they are already neutered as well. Mm -hmm. So these are some things that if you get a dog from a pet store, you maybe have to take care of yourself. Here, it's all part of the package. Yeah, and Carl, I have to ask, do you have any pets at home yourself? I've always grown up with pets. My really? current situation, no, but that's where I get my pet fixes, my uh, volunteer hours there at the Humane Society. Yeah, now is there anything that you would like to leave our viewers with about the Humane Society or even about Blue? Well, I would just say that it's a wonderful organization and Blue's a wonderful dog. And I, I think, I really hope that uh, one of your viewers here will be able to take Blue home yeah. here in the next day or two and uh, give him a, a permanent home. And then you know, there's a, I think I'll also throw in, there's a lot of kittens now. Uh, yeah. We've had a tsunami, it's a seasonal tsunami mm -hmm. of kittens. So if you're up for a uh, two month old bundle of energetic love and fluff, yeah. Please swing by. There is a adopt one, get one free deal. On oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, so talk to us about other animals that you can adopt from the Humane Society. Oh, there's a great variety of animals there in terms mm -hmm. of just disposition, personality, uh, breed, as well as, of course, age. And so whether you want cat or dog, those are the two primary ones. And occasionally there's some other critters that uh, find their way there, and yeah. like a rabbit or something like that. You can check out their, their website. They'll have that all available online, what's available in inventory. Yeah, and for someone who may want to adopt a dog but don't know where to go or what tips, what's, what would be the best dog for them? What would you give them, words of advice? Well, I definitely, the staff there is very knowledgeable. And they, they will, uh, as well as the volunteers, they will allow you to maybe a little bit of Q&A as to what kind of animal mm -hmm. you're looking for, what kind of personality. Are you a high energy person? Or do you a runner or whatever, yeah. right? <laughs> um, do you have a fenced in backyard or not? And, and that kind of coaching that you get from them. And then of course the best thing though is just the meet and greet rooms where you can visit with as many animals as you want, take a dog for a trial walk. There's a forest covered hiking trail oh. on premises as well as some open, open fenced in areas where they can go off leash. So you really get a chance to get a feel for the personality of the pet before you get a chance to adopt it. Yeah, well thank you Carl for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. Blue, can I get a paw before we go? One more, Blue? please, please. No, <laughs> Blue said no, he's ready to go, he's ready to go. One more, please, no, oh, one more. Nope, all right. Oh, no.
Yeah, he said no, no, it's not going to happen. All right, let's get this pulled up on the screen for the viewers so they can have more information. Thank you, Ryan, for having us. <laughs> for more information on the Humane Society of Elkhart County, check out your screen. You can visit their website at ElkhartHumaneSociety.org or you can give them a phone call at 574-475-4732 and you can check them out on Facebook.